Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. In this video today, I wanted to talk a lot about Cloud9 and some of what I think has been some really, really good news for them recently. Obviously, there has been plenty of good news. I mean, they had, you know, kind of a couple hurdles early on in the season, you know, with the whole LS situation, the LS firing, all the drama, all the craziness. Um, but things have gotten so much better since then. I think they've only lost one game since then. Uh, and it was actually the weekend that LS got fired. So, you know, people maybe give them a little bit of a pass for that. They're coming off a win against Team Liquid, their first place in the LCS. And on the other side of things, um, you know, Summit's been streaming a ton. He put out the ASMR video. Um, Berserker's been popping off. Um, you know, he's starting to do some more content. Uh, yes, Cloud9 is not putting up the views or the interaction or the engagement back of, uh, of back when they had LS. Um, but still, it seems like a lot of things are trending in the right direction for this Cloud9 team. Uh, so that's just what I want to talk about today. Definitely drop a like if you guys do enjoy this video. I would appreciate that a ton. Uh, it's real quick, real easy, and it would be awesome. Also, subscribe to stay up to date on all my latest content uh we've been putting out a ton of videos obviously the past couple weeks they've there have been some bangers we're covering the big stories we're covering everything uh trying to get everything out to you guys as soon as possible you know we're scouring all over the place reddit discord twitter youtube uh, and trying to bring you guys all that content in one place so you don't have to do all that scouring um and things are about to get spicy off season msi playoffs all that stuff you don't want to miss it with that being said let's get right into this so Mostly, what I'm basing a lot of this video off of is a recent interview that Berserker did with Ashley Kang. Obviously, she is very, very good, well-respected reporter, interviewer, content creator, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and she posted this uh, on the Horizon Esports YouTube channel. Um, why Berserker chose LCS and C9, Berserker's goals in NA revealed. You guys should definitely go check it out. Obviously, you can see I already dropped a like on it. And hey, you guys should support you know, the great content being made out there in the League of Legends scene. And this is definitely one of those. This is an interview in Korean, um, but they have it all subtitled. Um, I do hope, obviously, that Berserker does some more content and stuff in English eventually. Now, I understand that doing the Korean stuff is important um, because obviously he has fans all over and there's people that probably care about him and are interested. Uh, and he's obviously not exactly 100% confident in his English and stuff at this point, I'm sure. He's only been, uh, you know, in the United States for a couple of, of months but we do know he speaks some English, you know, we see the behind the scenes, we see the content, we see the comms, uh, and I hope he just keeps getting more confident, I, keep, I hope he keeps getting better and better, because he seems like a funny, interesting, entertaining dude, uh, and the NA fans want to connect with that. Yes, subtitles are, are great, and I'm glad he did this interview, but, um, you know, nothing will ever be, you know, hearing it actually in English, dropping some bangers, dropping some some hot lines, and they talk about in this interview how, you know, trash, tar trash talking is a big part of the LCS, um, you know, Summit is is learning English insanely fast. He is um, really starting to get into, you know, all of that stuff, getting into all the memes and, and the jokes and everything. Uh, and it seems like Berserker is on that track as well, um, but it's going to be very, very exciting. So some of the things that they talk about in this interview, you guys should definitely go watch the whole thing. It's like 25 minutes and it's worth the watch. But some of the things he talks about in this video, this is a big one. Um, we can rewind it a couple of seconds, I guess. He says, you know, she asks, how have you been doing in NA? How have you been doing in North America? And obviously this is a question that a lot of people have. And you can see here on the subtitles, he says, yes, I've been doing amazingly. To the point, Korea doesn't even cross my mind. I love NA too much. Uh, you know, he says, in the beginning, I was really worried about adjusting here in NA. Um, he goes on to talk about how... Uh Cloud9 having Korean staff and, and having a couple other Korean players, obviously, in, in Winsome and Summit has helped him out a ton. Uh, he says how the team is all, like, really nice and really funny and they, they love to laugh. And he also talks about how Blabber and Fudge being, like, really outgoing and really conversational and, and uh, really inclusive. You know, he's like, yeah, my English isn't great, but my teammates try to include me in English conversations. We try to talk. We hang out. We laugh. We joke. All this stuff. It's really, really great and it's really exciting. And that is awesome to hear. To hear that he is loving NA is great. You know, he talks about in this interview having some um, kind of concerns or trepidations or whatever about coming to North America. Um, and that, yeah, he wanted to come here and, and continue to work hard. He wanted to, to come here and be successful. He came here um, because uh, he thinks Cloud9 is like the, the T1 of North America. He thinks Cloud9 is a great organization. And it just seems like overall he's having a great experience here. He also talks about in this interview how he sees North America as a long-term plan. He says, you know, he's not one of these players that just wants to come to NA for a little bit. Um, that he is liking it here. He's having a good time. And he also sees this as a good spot for him to be um, going forward. And he sees Cloud9 as a good team. And, you know, he wants them to shoot for the stars and do all these things. He feels like everyone's been working hard. Everyone's been doing a lot of good stuff. 
And that is awesome. I think that is very, very exciting. And this is great news for Cloud9 because, again, this guy, not just as an LCS player, but really as a global prospect, this guy is like an S tier prospect. You know, Gumiusi is obviously popping off at T1 right now. And there was some people who, when they were, you know, at T1, compared Berserker, or at least the potential of Berserker, to that potential of Gumiusi. And uh, Berserker's 18 years old. This guy is young. This guy has an insane future ahead of him. If this guy is loving North America, and this guy is loving Cloud9, that is amazing to hear. Now, he could just be saying this, you know, we've heard it all before, and things change, you know. Maybe they go to MSI and get stomped. Maybe Summer Split doesn't go as well. Maybe they go to Worlds and get stomped. Maybe Team Morale ends up a little bit lower um, than it is right now at some point in the future, and it'll be interesting to see how they handle that whole thing. But man, an 18-year-old moving halfway across the world in a country, in a region that is not well-respected in League of Legends, um, and he is a guy who wants to be, you know, like a, a well-respected player, obviously. Like I said, he is seen as potentially one of the best AD carries in the world, um, or at least the potential to become one of the best AD carries in the world. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of risk that comes with that. You know, he's leaving his friends, leaving his family. He's a young guy. He's still trying to figure out so many things. This could have gone so badly and it still could go so badly but it is great to hear um that that so far he is having a great experience and again that is what i always hope for for all imports you know i hope that they come here and want to actually help na and they want to succeed and they do see this as a long-term option a long-term plan and then i also hope that they have a good time you know i hope they like the united states i hope they like los angeles i hope they like um north america and it seems like that is is actually happening so far so that is really really good i know there was probably some concerns once the whole ls drama happened and ls got fired especially because you know ls was probably or definitely a big reason of why berserker even ended up on cloud nine in the first place but obviously it doesn't seem like that has been a big hurdle or a big barrier to um you know berserker uh having a good time over here um there also was uh something over here you know he says this for example some imports in the past uh, may have been half-hearted about coming to na they stopped practicing properly they let their performance slip on stage you know people talking about people coming over here just collecting checks or retiring or whatever but he says but i want the people uh, out there to be able to see and notice that i will put in the work and he's just saying all the right things he's saying and doing all the right things you know he's been a beast so far he says uh cloud nine is only at like 30 percent of their potential strength so who knows how they'll continue ramping up um he's saying all the right things he's doing all the right things cloud nine's in first place um and man if this guy really is able to develop into his full potential and become one of the best 80 carries in the world pair that up with summit who a lot of people believe has uh you know the potential or possibility to be one of the best top laners in the entire world Cloud9 starts to have a very, very formidable roster here. They start to be building something very, very special. He also says, yeah, our potential is higher than Team Liquid's. And me and a lot of other people have gone on record of saying that TL is probably the most talented team in North American LCS history. And Berserker is saying Cloud9 can and, and probably will be better than them. And they, they're coming off a win against them. It's just so, so exciting. Blabber at his best is great. Who knows what Winsome will be able to develop into? Who knows what Fudge in the mid lane will be able to develop into? But Berserker just had so many good things to say in this interview, and I really do think that this is amazing, amazing news for Cloud9. And if everything goes the right way, this could be the best pickup, the best signing, um, the one of the best offseason moves in LCS history uh, and getting to watch this guy from 18 years old. You know, this isn't a guy who's been playing for five or six years, won worlds, and now he's coming over. No, this is his first major competitive League of Legends experience, and it's in the LCS. It's with Cloud9, and getting to see him grow up in front of our eyes, develop his personality, learn English better, start interacting with the fans and making content and stuff more and more, while also being a beast on the rift. Uh, again, who knows how this is all going to go? It could Things could change, things could go horribly, you know, prospects don't always work out, all that stuff, but at least the potential is there, uh, and he's saying that NA is a long-term plan, he's saying he's loving it here, he's saying he doesn't even think about Korea anymore, it's a great sign, and this is great news for Cloud9, and just as an LCS fan, myself, I'm so excited to see this, but that is pretty much it for this video today, guys, definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it, I would appreciate that so, so much, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think about this whole thing, um, are you excited for the future of Cloud9, Berserker, do you think he's gonna be amazing, you think he's gonna live up to that potential, you think he's gonna flop, I don't know, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions, subscribe, stay up to date on all my latest content, hopefully catch you guys in the next one, but until then, peace!